Hey everyone, Wayne here. Today I'm going to show you how to dynamically change CRM email template images using WordPress. But before we jump into the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, so in today's tip, I'm going to show you how you can dynamically change an image in an email template in Zoho CRM without having to manually edit and change every template. You can simply host the image on a website. Um, in this example, I'm going to do WordPress. Uh, this won't work with WorkDrive or, um, like say, Google Drive because the image link is going to change. Um, but I'm going to show you a way around it that it could work on your WordPress site if you uh, have access to your own hosting, which you should. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll dive into exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and make a template. And in this template, we will go ahead and drop in an image. So this could be a banner, this could be a company logo, um, but what we're gonna do is add an image from a URL. So over here, I have a, the Podcaster Zen site loaded. And if we look um, at the media, essentially what we're going to do is upload a media image, and these media images have a URL, and that's what this is gonna load here. So. What we're going to do first, though, if, if you'll see, there's no way for me to um, replace this image here while keeping all of the file names the same. So the first thing we're going to need to do is install a plugin. Um, we're going to search for media replace. Oops, I need to add a new one. Not search existing, so we'll do media replace. Um, this enable media replace used to be a great one. Um, I don't think they've updated it with the latest uh, version of WordPress. And since that's hasn't been updated, it is causing nothing but issues. But um, I love this uh, app right here, Folders Unlimited. Um, it works great. So let's go ahead and install this one. And let's go ahead and activate it. And what this is doing is it's creating a simple way to replace a media image. So enable replace media. Um, use folders with posts and pages will probably be defaulted on in this example since we're just going to be using it in the media. I went ahead and left it off. But if you like this app and want these to use, by all means, feel free to enable that. So let's go ahead and save. And now that we've saved and activated this plugin, let's go ahead and go to our media library. So in this example, I'm going to use our standard Zenata logo, and I'm going to use um, a white logo as an example. So as we can see here, we have the Zenata green and Zenata white. So first, I'm just going to drag and drop the Zenata logo to upload. Now that it's uploaded, We've got our link, so we'll copy the link to the clipboard, and we'll go ahead and paste and insert the image. And just like that, the image is updated. Now let's go ahead and go back over here. And now, you know what, I've decided we're going to go with... Um, White's not the best example since it's not going to show up, but like let's say we just wanted a solid black logo and we changed our branding, or maybe we changed this green um, to a different color. I can simply upload a new file and go ahead and upload a new file. And if I go to my desktop, and let's go ahead and use the Zen White. And here, since we're not upgraded to the Pro, it's OK, um, because we only want to replace the file. So in this example, we're keeping the same extension name. So the image will have to be a PNG with a PNG. And the file name and everything else will remain the same. So let's go ahead and replace file. And I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick because this is normal what's happening here. Um, it takes a while and the cache needs to be cleared um, for it to process the new image. 
So we're going to go ahead and come right back. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and opened up a uh, new browser, Microsoft Edge, not using Chrome this time, uh, just because I didn't feel like clearing my cache to show everything real quick. But if you go into templates just to show that this works, and we go to Zenata test, we can go ahead and see here that the image, in fact, did change to the white background. Um, and if we go here, we can go ahead and see that it is, in fact, the white background. Um, so if we go back over to Chrome now, um, as you can see, it hasn't updated here, even if I refresh, because it takes a little time. Um, to clear the cache and everything. But if I exited out of this incognito window and reopened it, it should all um, show you as well. So this is just a quick little tip on how to dynamically change uh, all of your templates if you're using an image all in one place. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did or if you didn't, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next tip.